This is part two of how to select text using your keyboard. So we're not having to use the mouse at all to do this. Um, along with control, the control key and the shift key, letting you select a word at a time, you can select an entire paragraph at a time. Shift, control, and I'm going to tap the down arrow. That selected the entire paragraph quickly. Let's make that bold. I'll hold down control and tap letter B. And then I'll tap my right arrow to release that. Here's another paragraph. We're getting, we're about halfway down the page. I'm going to select that one the same way. Shift, control, arrow down. And then you'll do whatever you need to. In this case, I think I'll make it italic. I'll hold down the control key and tap letter I. And then I'll just tap my right arrow to release that. Let's do one more paragraph. Shift, control, arrow down. Very quick, very accurate. I think I'll make this one bold and italic. Control B, Control I, and then I'll tap the right arrow to release that. Okay, up to the top of the document. What if you want to select to the end of a line of text? Hold your Shift key down and tap the End key. That's right above your arrow keys. It's the one that says END, End. Shift End selects to the end of a line. And since I'm out here, oh, I think I'm going to make this one underlined. Control U. And then I'll tap my right arrow to release it. Here we have the Beatles. What if I wanted this to be italic? Hold down the Shift key, press End. Immediately it selects to the end of the line, and then do whatever you need to. I said italic. I'll press Control I. One more thing. Suppose you want to select all the way to the end of a document. Why would you want to do that? Well, you want to change the font size, the font style, you want to put it in columns, double space it, whatever. Okay, shift control on the left hand. And now I'm going to tap the end key. Before I do it, notice I'm not at the top of the page. I'm going to leave that title alone. Uh, but it's going to select from wherever my cursor is all the way to the end of the document. Shift control and the end key. And look what I've done. This is a 30-page document. You can't possibly select in that manner to the end of your document without using that trick. And now that I've done it, a couple of things I can do with the keyboard um, include, well, I could make the whole thing justified. That's a keyboard command. I can make it all underlined. That's a keyboard command. I could take the underline off by keyboard. I could put everything right aligned. I could make everything left aligned. I could make it all double spaced. I could make it all space and a half. Bring it back to single space. I could make the font smaller. I can make the font larger. All of those are done by keyboard and they're all dependent on you having the text selected. Food for thought. Take a look at our other videos. Hope you're enjoying this. Hope it makes things easier.